09 legislative session. Uh, so it's been a great journey, and it's nice to see that we've come from just from protest to now participation. And that's where the next speaker comes in. Heidi Tea Party Tees. Thank you yes. for running. Thanks for being here. for me to be here because I finally got to meet Matt in person because Matt you're an answer to prayer yes you yes. came at a time when we knew what had to be done we needed someone to go to the front lines we, were, we had people ready to go and you really answered the call so it's an honor to meet you I'm really really glad to be here so as we all know and I mean I was an original charter member of the Al Strauss Brigade yes you're here tonight because you know what needs to be done so I'm not going to regale you with that, but I do want to tell you one of the things that really inspires me is that I'm always striving to live up to the legacy of our forefathers, that revolutionary spirit, the, that spirit that goes up against incredible odds. I mean, our forefathers went up against the largest, most powerful standing army in the world, and they won. Now let me tell you a little bit about the men and women that they won with. There were 3% of Americans on the front lines fighting that revolutionary war. Behind them were 10% of, of the uh, Americans that would feed them, support them, clothe them, and, uh, and equip them. Behind that were another 20% that supported the cause, but really didn't have much to do with it. You know, supported it in name only kind of thing. And then there was the one third that never really were engaged at all. Today, we would call those our non-voters, okay? Then beyond that was the one-third that actually fought against our revolutionary, revolutionary forefathers with the British. That's what we call Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> so let me go back to the 3%, because Matt now has joined that 3% to send to the front lines you're here because you're part of that valued, incredibly necessary 10% to feed him, equip him, clothe him, and, and uh, provide him with the ammunition that he needs to go and win this war. So as that 10%, we need to swell our ranks. There's certainly, certainly work that can be done. And I think right now is what Bob was saying, is that if we don't get it right in 2012, we may not get another chance. And I feel very, very strongly, when you look at the rest of the country, and I say this all the time, I'm like, the rest of the country could go to hell in a handbasket, but we can save Texas. Yes. Yes. Now, what happens if we don't? If we don't? If we don't save Texas, if we lose Texas, if it goes blue, or if it goes rhino, which is really worse, because yeah. then you don't know who to trust, <laughs> right? But if it goes, if, if we don't save Texas, there is nowhere else for us to go. Texas is our last stand. America is our last stand for the rest of the world. If we lose America, there's nowhere else to go. So here in Texas, this right here is the battle. And it is absolutely imperative that we replace the third most powerful man in the state. Yes. And if he passes his agenda, he could surpass the power of the governor. That's right. So we have to stop him. So I encourage you to recruit more. Recruit hard. Never be embarrassed because this is the battle. These are the final lines. And, it's, and it all ends on May 29th. We don't have until November. We have until May 29th. For me and for Matt, that's our battle. We're both up against, I'm, he's up against Joe Strauss, I'm up against one of his minions. So I encourage you, thank you so much for being here. Get aggressive. You're that 10% that's going to win this war for us. Thank you. Amen.